let's talk speed lights. Godox sent me this. Um, so for disclaimer up front, they sent me this for free. They've not paid me though. Um, so keep that in mind, but I'm gonna be honest anyway, but just, you know, bear in mind I've been given this. So slight rose tinted glasses. Now, apart from all the, the gubbins that you just don't need in there, What we do have is this beautiful speed light. And I wanna talk about this, but I wanna talk about more specifically Godox as a brand because I wouldn't buy Godox. Um, you can see behind me here, wrong way. No, oh my word, left and right, there we go. Up hither and along there, we have Broncolor kit. Broncolor and Godox are two completely different types of brand. They live at polar opposite ends of the scale. I know you're probably thinking, well, why on earth, if you've got a 3200 watt light back there, why do you need a speed light? And I'm gonna tell you why I use speed lights, how I use them, and also a bit of the history of my use of speed lights because my business started on these. So let, let's look into this. Let's look at the history of speed lights. Now, for those who don't know, I started off as a wedding and portrait photographer, I know. Um, and the speed light and the off-camera flash back then was kind of, on location this is, was a new thing. So we had these. These were the Canon 580 EX2s. Um, actually, when I started, we had the EX1s, but I quickly upgraded to these because they were better. But I use them so much, I don't know if you can see this. It's melted. Um, and th this is what we had. And on that, we had a pocket wizard. Now, I can't remember how much these speed lights were each, but I think they're about 300 pounds, and the trigger's about 100. So right here, you have 400 pounds of very lightweight kit, precariously balanced. Um, and it was a bit of a nuisance. So what we'd often do is grab something cheap like this, like a Yong Nuo, which is a weird sounding brand. You can see it's been held together with gaff tape, because this has been also melted and hammered. Um, and we'd use this as the off-camera flash at the party and all the rest of it, because some drunkard would knock it over, it would fall down, and these cost like £90 each. It didn't matter if they broke. Um, There's a very good bit of kit. Not, I say a very good bit of kit, it wasn't. It's was cheap enough that if you broke it, it didn't matter. The Canon speed light though is what you use for your main portraits because the light quality was great, it was consistent and it never let you down. Now, towards the end of my wedding days, newer Godox and all the other brands, they bought out these here, Pro Pack, PB, something or others. These were battery packs which replaced what used to be a Quantum. Now, a Quantum was an extremely expensive bit of kit and no one could really afford them. So you took one of these, pinned it on your thing, plugged it into your speed light and you could run all day at a wedding like this, you actually run all weekend, probably more. I mean, I've not charged the, oh, they're still fully charged. Um, but this was it, this was your go-to thing. It went on a stand, it was all good. You had your umbrella. Obviously times have changed a lot. This is no longer your first port of call. But this would be your off-camera flash setup and then for the actual party, but obviously the cheap one, like I mentioned. Now at no point would you put the cheap flash on your camera. And there was a few reasons for this. Now I happen to have my camera from back in yonder day. And this is what it'd look like. You'd have this on here, you'd have your cable. Let's do it proper. You have your cable hanging out the side. Gosh, this is bringing back like traumatic flashbacks. And you'd, you'd shoot away, you'd get your bounce flash going. Whatever it may be, you, you're good to go. This is your setup for the day. And you could get your flash off quickly. And this is gonna sound ridiculous, but this is the main part of this flash review. All you have to do on a Canon flash is flip this tab here and take it off works very well. That's why we use them like that. At some point, some new second shooter you had on would take one of the crappy flashes, put it on, and what you'll see here is a twisty tightening nut. Once that bad boy's been tightened and the camera's been in your hot sweaty hands for an hour, this all expands and you can't get the bloody thing off without ripping your thumbprints out and all of that sort of stuff. The other problem is when you power these up, this is not, there we go. When you power one of these old ones up through the, the power thing, there was no way for it to stop itself overheating. So they just melted and caught fire, um, which is not ideal. You just smell like burning plastic electronic sort of stuff. You know the smell. And it'd be gone. So not a great bit of kit, but great for knocking over. Now, since my wedding days, I, I've not been too preoccupied in the world of speed lights. Um, but Godox then sent me this. And this is their speed light. And first of all, I've not got the battery in it because I'm charging it because I've been hammering it for two days solid. Um, but first of all, it takes a lithium ion battery. So you don't have to have the big pack, it's all in there. So I've just saved myself that massive power pack. 
Secondly, and thank you Godox for doing this, you absolute gems, it has a standard locky clicky thing. It, it's, oh, this, this is living. If they'd have had this when I was a wedding photographer, I wouldn't have bothered wasting my money on the Canon flashes because that was one of the biggest issues. The actual flash itself is great. So what I've done to test it is, I plugged it in, I put it on a, an intervalometer on this camera actually, and we just let it fire at full power repeatedly once every five seconds until the battery died. And we did it again and again, and it's not melted. You know, it's just, it's a game changer. And likewise, we often use speed lights today. So the image of the milk, so the image of the milkshake you see popping up right now, it had a Canon speed light in the background as a little rim light. So you had to squeeze them into various places where I couldn't fit my big heads and we needed the good flash duration, which these Godox flashes offer. Of course, we had to have the, the pocket wizards, we had to have the, the power packs or the rest of it. And it's a bit messy. And obviously with these newer flashes, and newer, I mean, as in age, not the brand, but with these here with a lithium ion battery inside it, it's just not an issue, it's not a concern. All you need is this and the trigger and it will fire. I fire it with my Pixar Pro 1200 watt lights and the whole thing works on the same ecosystem. Would I have bought this? No, absolutely not. There's no way I would have bought this today because I've already got speed lights. But if I didn't have the speed lights I already have, this would be where I'd spend my money over a Canon authentic one or you know the, the actual brand one because it's as good as a Canon 580 EX2 and a 580 EX2 is about as good as you need out of a speed light. So it's not better. It's not fancy or anything like that. It's just, it's as good but cheaper, which is great. And the addition of the lithium ion battery inside here is so good. I, I just wish we could have done something like this back in the day. What would be great is if there's a way to get the same camera battery and flash, that'd be a great bit of tech. If you could get the Canon LPE6 batteries into one of these, could you imagine one charger, one battery for everything you need for a wedding? Because I remember weddings, when you're shooting back-to-back -back weddings in peak season, you're in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I remember having to set timers in the middle of the night to change battery chargers over because remember those Sanyo on loops which took like 18 hours to charge or something horrific? They weren't good days, but this is great. This is a real, I think this is a step up in quality for Godox products. I think that recently they've had some good stuff with the AD 1200s, the 600 watt lights. They've had some more professional looking kit coming out. Back in my day, if you bought newer Godox, young newer, whatever it was, it was bought as a throwaway bit of kit. And I think they've changed that dynamic. I think they've, yes, they still offer the low end budget stuff as well, but they've really bought in some premium kit, which can be used professionally. And if I needed a speed light on set today, for whatever reason, if I had to go and shoot something with speed lights, I'd have no qualm in using this professionally over a Canon one. It, it wouldn't bother me which one I was using. I wouldn't have any like, oh no, I must use Canon brand because you know it's a professional job. This would absolutely do the job. It's built like a tank. I've also splashed some water over it to see whether it stopped working. It didn't, which is what these weird stains are. Um, but yeah, great bit of kit. And something I just didn't expect from a brand like Godox, so more for me. Anyway, if, you, if there's some kit you'd like to see me review, let me know because I'm in a position where I can ask people to send that kit to me. So if you want me to show you something, give you my honest opinion on it, let me know and I'll, I'll make one of these videos. See you all soon. Bye-bye.